Fight Club 25, we in here, man. Miguel Cotto will not be returning to the ring in 2016. He was slated to make a return during the end of this calendar year. But unfortunately, this will not happen. Uh, his advisor, Brian Perez, uh, released a statement saying that he felt it was better for his client to sit it out until two, 2017. And the reasons uh, being it's because of HBO's uh, looming budget problems and uh, the inability from Gail Cotto to find uh, an opponent. Uh, both those factors uh, played into the decision to sit it out until 2017. Uh, Miguel Cotto's last fight was uh, Canelo Alvarez, and that was back in November of 2015, man. So uh, Miguel Cotto is very inactive, man. A lot of fighters are inactive. It, it's really been a, a, I don't know, man. It's been a shady year for boxing, man. Like, uh Hasn't been really looking good, to be honest with you. Man, a lot of good fighters only have fought in once. And, and, and some, like in this instance, hasn't fought at all, man. You know? And, and it just, it just uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I want to talk about Miguel Cotto real quick, man. Miguel Cotto was at the end of his career. And he's looking uh, to cash in. He's looking for big names and big money fights. Period. Point blank. And a lot of people... Uh, a lot of uh, new boxing fans, man, uh, uh, well, the new breed of boxing fans, they hate Miguel Cotto, man. Like, uh, you know, I read comments online and uh, just people I talk to on a day-to-day, -day, um, they seem to believe that uh, Miguel Cotto was a cherry picker and um, he's looking for easy fights. And, and all of this may be true, man. All of this uh, may be true as it stands today but there was a time when miguel cotto was a warrior man cotto's been in wars he's been in wars man uh the antonio antonio margarito situation man this dude um his raps he had uh plastered his gloves something crazy like that man and um you know he really damaged miguel cotto man and miguel cotto came back and beat that dude to a pulp, man. He avenged that loss, man. He's been in wars with, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao. He fought Floyd Mayweather. Uh, he beat a lot of uh, good names too, man. You know, he beat the, the Zab Judas and and uh, he beat Shane Mosley. Uh, he, he fought a lot of guys, man. He fought a lot of guys. Uh, Miguel Cotto is a future Hall of Famer, and. Um, He's one of my favorite fighters. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, I just hate seeing him at this stage in his career uh, doing the things that he's doing. In a way, I can't blame him. But then in another way, to see him tarnish his legacy in this manner, man, uh, it's not cool. To, to um, Hearing people call this dude a coward who I know is a warrior at heart, man. But, you know, he's at the end, man. So he's just trying to make as much money as he can before he leaves. I think Miguel Cotto should just retire. Uh, he has a promotional company, Miguel Cotto Promotions. Uh, you know, he's had a great career, man. He's had a, a great storied career. Um, but anyway, I wanted to give you guys that up, update. Uh, Miguel Cotto, he'll be back in 2017, man. Hopefully he fights somebody, um, you know, somebody decent, man. He's, he's been looking for a name. Uh, he tried to get at uh, Timothy Bradley. There was rumors of that, uh, that nothing ever panned out. Uh, the last we heard was Lamont Peterson. I don't know what was going on with that. I've even heard uh, rumors of him reaching out to Yuri York to Scamboa uh, and James Kirkland and... Uh, but it seems nothing has panned out, man. So we'll see what happens with uh, Miguel Cotto. I wish him the best, though. Uh, that's how I feel about it, man. Fight Club 25. Subscribe. Big. He's a man in his time, you know?